All right, guys, so it's still the heat wave of Texas of 2023. So I'm doing the Habanero 100 next week, and I want to try out these new orange glove sleeves. So they do have some pockets in here. They have a lower pocket and a higher pocket. They could be used for, like, accessories. You can even put your phone in there if you really wanted to. I have them in my orange mud bag, my phone. But I'm going to use this for ice. I'm going to see how it works. This is the extra large one. I do have some big biceps, about 17, 18 inches. So these fit me. So surprisingly, they do because I didn't think they would. And you just slip them on like that. And I think you got to put it on on the inside. Depends on where you want the ice, really. Let's just put this one. Let's just let's just do this first. I think it's be easier to put the ice in the pockets when it's not on. So let's put a couple of them in there. In both of the pockets. Because it's hot nowadays. And for habanero, we'll be running the first loop. And that first loop is going to really challenge you because it does get really hot. So put the ice in there. Let's put the sleeve on. During habanero, I'll have a... Uh, during habanero, I'll have everything as cold as possible. I'll have ice in my hat. I'll have ice in the back of my pack as well. And I'll also have a buff to put ice on as well. So I just want to see how this works. Because you want to test things before race day. And yeah, feels good. Right now, let's get the other one. There are two arm sleeves. We'll put this one on the inside. See how that feels. I feel like the outside is pretty good. Put a couple ices in there. The bottom pocket is definitely a lot bigger than the top pocket. So you can put more ice in there. Let's just uh, put all the ice in there. <laughs> yeah, that is stuffed to the max. And I'll put this on the inside, see how that feels. Yep, there goes some few ices. A couple more ices gone. All right, that's on. Let's go for a run with the arm sleeves. So yeah, this, these actually came in two colors, white and black. So I could have chose either one of those. I decided to go with white just because I felt like that would be more cooling than some black arm sleeves. But yeah, super cold right now. I know in Habanero, it's going to feel real good with the ice on your uh, skin. There's a thin layer of spandex, or whatever this material is made out of, that is protecting your skin from direct ice. But it feels good. I know I'll appreciate it for sure on race day. And again, they fit my arms. Not a lot of things fit my arms. I can't even wear shirts because some shirts don't fit my 18 inch guns. Probably 17 inch, 18 inch, but still. Like if I, if I wear a short sleeve shirt, sometimes like I'll get stuck in them. Not a flex, but it is what it is. I'm just a bigger person. But this will be my secret weapon for habanero. These arm sleeves. I'll have my orange and mud vest as well. One tip for y'all, especially when it's super hot, you want to put as much ice as you want inside of your hydration packs, your bladders, but don't do that. Just fill it up halfway because you want to have hydration. And I've been at races I think I've even been at Habanero where uh, I've had a lot of ice, but I had no water because I, I drank it all the water and I just had ice left over. So don't put too much ice in your hydration vest, in your bladder, so you actually have something to drink because when you're in that situation, you only have ice, it's not fun. Yeah, but so far, I'm like, I'm enjoying it. Like, I feel the super cold around my 
wrist and my arms. I, I don't know if I want it on the outside or on the inside. I guess I could just rotate it if I wanted to. Switch it to the other side. But so far so good. I like this. Good job, Orange Mud. Again, I'm going to have ice everywhere. That first lap of Habanero, it's a tough one. It's it's a uh, one that could really destroy your whole race. And I'm only doing two laps. We haven't discussed what our team is going to do in terms of who's going first or second. But the first lap is going to be a hot one. So you want to stay as cold as possible and don't overheat yourself so you don't destroy your race. But I'm going to finish my run and then I'll tell you my full thoughts of these sleeves when I'm done. Alright guys, have y'all ever had muscadine grapes? These are the wild grapes in Texas. I think they are. I might die if I eat this, but supposedly what you do is just see the end right here. You just kind of bite that off and then push the pulp through. Very basically just getting the juice because there's big seeds. So this is it right here. That's it. Kind of just get the seeds. You need it. Not that bad. But they do make one out of it. So let's go on my run. Alright guys, so just got done with the run, showered up because it is a hundred plus degrees outside. And these things, these orange mud arm sleeves, worked out pretty good. I was Pleasantly surprised at how they worked. Whenever the ice was melting, it did like spread that cold dripping water everywhere. Like so it would like hit your legs, hit your face. Uh, and it lasted for about 20 minutes in the heat. So these will work well for habanero. I'll, I'll be able to fill it up at the beginning of the loop and then also midway. And then also there's a, another loop at the back. So I'll be able to have ice on me. And uh, it did make a difference. I felt really cool with it on and then after it melted uh it did you know it did take up some water and it wasn't the quickest drying thing in the world but they also do provide 50 upf sun blocking technology or whatever that's called so when it doesn't have ice all over it is protecting you from the sun so who are these for i think this is for people who want to protect themselves from the sun uh it's going to be for people who want to be cooler whenever they are out running out and about it also can fit your other things too if you're not using it for ice on like a colder day uh, it's going to provide some warmth as well so very multi-use for all types of temperatures throughout the year hot or cold and they also fit my arms i'm telling you when i tell you that my arms cannot fit a lot of things i was shocked when i put these on and they actually fit my arms because I have some uh, large arms, so there you go. These fit me. What am I going to give this a GoCo Runner score? I'm going to give this a GoCo Runner thumbs up. These are going to cost you about $35 to $40. I think that's about the price of it. I'll put the price over here somewhere, but that's the price of it. I think for the price and for arm sleeves, these work well. Go get you some orange mud arm sleeves. Check it out over there at the orange mud store so yep these are it i like them thumbs up for me hope you guys enjoy this video leave me a comment down below if you guys like this review of these orange mud sleeves and i'll see you guys in the next video peace